Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm doing a video. This time is of a custom made by Nikki Nicole 3704 over on Instagram. She does wonderful customs of Mythic Legion stuff. And that community has just been so good to me. And she's been great. Uh, she actually said she would send me a custom. And she just wanted me to take a few photos. But I wanted to talk about it in video because what she did was fantastic. I am very new to the Mythic Legion stuff and the Four Horsemen stuff. But I have jumped in full, full, like just in. And it's crazy because um, to see her customs and where they start and where they finish at is outrageous. And she does an amazing job. If you're not following her, you probably should. Because if you want to get into Mythic Legion, she's one of those people I can definitely recommend for you. Uh, it's Nikki Nicole. And I'll put it in the description as well so you can have a clickable link. It's Nikki Nicole 3704. Now, she what she did was she liked something called Delta Gar the, well, Delta Gar the Destroyer. Again, these are all new to me, so I'm trying to learn them all. And uh, she liked the combination so much that she made a corrupted version that she could dubbed the Angel of Death. She took a cast from Zombie 13 Customs. I'm also going to give you the link in the description to him in the video. Uh, who did a cast of a, of a skull, which you'll see here. Now, I'm rambling on is because uh, I don't even know where to start with this because these are so nice. She took a color scheme and made an entire character out of it with a lot of original design. It's very, very nice. Delta got a destroyer. I like his color scheme a lot. And I tried to go out and get that guy. He is quite expensive at the time. But she did something by making an original character that I really do enjoy. Now, one of the things I want to talk about is the fact that she painted the inside of these eyes. And I know I don't know if you can see it, but there is a nice glimmer of red in there. There we go. That once you get in the light, you can totally see that it's like a corrupted version of him. And she dubbed him the Angel of Death. And this is one of the looks that he has. Because she definitely made it so that you can have a bunch of different looks for him. You can gently just lift the skull over. Right? And there is this nice peg adapter that you have. Just so very nice. Again, definitely something I would very much enjoy on any sort of custom if I could somehow army build these. You see the neck adapter for the skeleton. This nice painted piece here. And she just made something that was so dope. But what she also did was she also said that she showed me how to do it pre-corrupted. So she actually gave him another neck adapter, as you see here. She gave it another head, which you can just pop on. But I'm not going to do that right now because I want to show you guys a bunch of stuff. And then she recommends that I use a blow dryer, which I did beforehand. Because she gives you extra arms. And I'm going to just do this because I want to show you guys. So you have the extra arms. I'm going to wiggle this out. Oh, I might have to heat it up again. So I'm not going to do that now. <laughs> but you get the extra arms. And as you can see, you start to get the idea of him pre-corrupted. This has been one of those things where the more I play with it, the more I'm like, I should dabble in customs. I'm not very good at it. But I do want to try it now. She gave it a nice weathering on the bone. Everything kind of just gives it this nice gleam. Sorry, not gleam. But uh, it's one of those wonderful looks that... No matter what I do or how I do it, it just looks better and better, right? Now, the black, the green, the yellow, they all coincide and just look very nice. She also made sure the weapons match up and look very nice. So you have this very nice hammer. It's a very special color. <laughs> I like how the green is painted inside. Like I said, it matches this. Really dope. You have a straight sword, which has a very nice shine to it as well. Again, always matching that color scheme. So dope. And she gave him a big broadsword with a nice gold with a black wash here. And you have another knight's helmet. <clears throat> Painted up beautifully. So even pre-corruption, this guy would have been a dope knight, right? But just to add the, the fun to it, she gave it some skeletal wings with the Mythic Legions adapters. So if you want to go full corrupt, you actually have this guy... Looking super duper nice with these wings, which actually I was looking for. And she uh, she made sure I, I didn't go out and buy any so I could see just how cool this guy would look with him. And I don't know how to even comprehend how cool this is with other people because I'm so excited in this new. Um, so I'm hoping to get some really dope photos out of it. Have him maybe crush the opponent in a crazy way or, you know, just get beat up. You never know. But I'm going to take off this adapter real fast. And just to show you guys the articulation... Uh, because I, I don't do too many Mythic Legion stuff. You have that single joint here. You rotate out. As you can see, it's a single joint. 
you have a posable Figma like joint here that goes up and down. The gauntlets do rotate all the way around. It, this is a 1.0 body from what I understand. And you have this nice swivel like rotation. The legs actually come up pretty high and they're single jointed as well. Let me put that back in. There we go. And these are single jointed as well, but they come back pretty far. And one thing I do know is that Mythic Legions offers a ton of ankle pivots, so that's not ever going to be an issue. So I'm going to actually uh, try to pose this guy up as he looks up. Looking pretty cool and corrupted. All right. So as you can see here on the 1.0 body, it doesn't look bad at all. It's one of those things where it's going to be a certain type of articulation that you like. And if it doesn't float your boat, this is not for you. But I'm kind of all into that mythology. This is definitely Lord of Rings style, and I'm a big Lord of Rings fan. So, yeah, I know, nerd alert, right? So you have this very nice look on them. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare them to some other stuff uh, size-wise, because, again, I don't do too many Mythic Legions videos, so we're going to show you. This is what it looks like next to some other Legions. Here he is with Brother Mandibulus. And I'm going to scoot back some of that kinetic sand so you can see these guys, their best. Here he is with Thump, a goblin size or troll size. Well, not troll, but a goblin slash... Uh, I forgot these tiny dudes' names. Dwarf size, sorry. And as you can see, this is them size-wise up next to each other, right? Move over Brother Manibalist. Just in case you want to see what it looks like with another Mythic Legion, here he is with a Barbarian, which I've just started getting in. I got a couple of them. I got one from Toy Fiend over uh, at Empire Toy Shop, and I got one from my main man, James Collins, Savage Serenity. So that's what these two look like. And I got to do a Barbarian video because he also does a whole lot of stuff. Here he is next to a Lightning Collection Black Ranger. All right, let's move Thump over. Here he is next to a Mezco size on a Gomez body. I've been fooling around with this figure. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Here he is with an SH figure arts Kamen Rider Kuga. And honestly, I, I do want to have the Angela Death fight Kuga because he just looks so overbearing over him. Unarticulated Icons Ninja. One of the things I definitely wanted him to go up against, or at least uh, look cool with, and I think this is one of those things that fit into that genre, is the Figma Berserk Guts, the Berserker armor. This is one of those things I feel like work very well with this line. Very, very well. Oh, wait. Two things I did forget, one and two, which are these nice shoulder pads, which come right on. So if I wanted to, I can actually just pop these in and have a new look for them as well. So I do want to talk about the shoulder pads because I totally forgot about those. You can use them on the corrupt version or non-corrupt. So I want to make sure I don't forget that. Also, for the SHF, I want to add in Garo, which definitely would fit into this sort of mythology. Garo is a tiny bit smaller, but he is the knight who shines through the darkness. This is the Raiga version of the Shinke Kosejo. Shinko Sejo, sorry. Really trying to work on my enunciation. Here we have a DC Essentials Black Manta which I have to fix these swords. I've been working on some stuff. And the DC Essential stuff is actually pretty big, right? I think that about covers all the size stuff that I wanted to do. But overall, Nikki Nicole has done an excellent job of making this custom. I really hope that I make her proud with some of these photos. I don't normally do outdoor uh, photography, so I hope you'll enjoy what I have going on because I definitely am going to try something new with this setup. Thank you so much for the custom. Um, and as always, I hope you found it informative. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please go follow the people in the description. And as always, be good, do good, drink your water, guys. Later.